Physicists reveal aliens might use black holes as quantum computers. The Fermi paradox is the belief that if extraterrestrial beings really exist somewhere in the universe, there would be far more conclusive evidence that we currently have pointing to their presence. This particular paradox has plagued astronomers, cosmologists, researchers and alien enthusiasts alike as they continue their search for any indication of advanced life in the universe. Many hold out hope that the lack of evidence does not necessitate the conclusion of its non-existence. Some alternative ideas and potential resolutions to this paradox also claim that there are many reasons why such evidence may be hard to find. Either the living organisms do not operate on a massive scale as may be necessary for there to be evidence of life left behind, or that there simply is not enough material used to result in evidence that could be detected. Another prevalent notion is that because the universe is so massive, there is a good chance that advanced civilizations and groups of extraterrestrial beings may simply be too engaged and involved in their own activities, or limited to specific regions which makes them even less likely to be found. Just because we have not yet found evidence of aliens does not mean we can say with complete certainty that they absolutely do not exist. Now, an even more recent study is giving researchers another idea of why we might not be finding hard proof of aliens. The possibility that these extraterrestrial beings could be using black holes as some sort of quantum computer. What this means in terms of the search for life is that potential civilizations in the rest of the universe may be, on purpose or inadvertently, concealing their existence using highly advanced technology not entirely accessible to us on Earth. Quantum computing is much faster, better and a huge improvement upon the technology we use in our everyday lives as digital computing. Quantum computing is also immune to decryption, meaning that its biggest strength lies in keeping information hidden and concealed. And because researchers have been seeking proof by means of radio messages, directed energy such as lasers or gravitational waves among many others, the lack of evidence could be a direct result of the way black holes are potentially being used as quantum computers. This new theory is exciting because it poses a possible solution to the Fermi paradox, as well as potentially directing the efforts of researchers towards potentially better means of finding evidence of life in the universe. Asteroid Yugu made up of organic molecules that are building blocks of life There is a prominent theory in the field of astronomy which maintains that all basic building blocks of life did not originally come from the Earth itself. In fact, it's argued that these organic molecules were delivered to the planet from outside to eventually land on its surface during its infancy. The organic molecules that make up the basic foundations for all life on Earth are a vast array of compounds containing a combination of the elements carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur and other atoms. Such compounds are created by chemical reactions that do not need or use living organisms but rather are the main underpinnings of all life. And now, evidence of these organic molecules or building blocks have been found within substances that come from outer space asteroids. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency spacecraft Hayabusa 2 was able to obtain samples from the asteroid Yugu and return those samples to Earth, where they were studied and broken down to their basics. This is an enormous undertaking and has moved researchers one step further to the confirmation that the theory about how life really came to exist on Earth may actually hold more truth than was originally believed. The sample contains several types of amino acids that are used by living organisms in order to build proteins essential to regulating chemical reactions and forming structures like hair or muscle. Even more incredible was the finding of organic prebiotic molecules that are usually formed in the presence of water. Aliphatic amines, carboxylic acid, polycylic aromatic hydrocarbons and nitrogen-containing heterosylic compounds. The results of these studies are showing that the asteroid has similar compositions to meteorites in space, meteorites that have been known to have a higher exposure to water. Further information would clarify just how far this evidence goes, and what is lacking from these samples is a good indication of what researchers should keep looking for. Specifically, some of the resources that have been found in other carbon-rich asteroids are missing from these Yugu samples, sugars, and components of DNA and RNA. 
The research team suspects that the asteroid is not lacking, but rather that further studies deeper into the asteroid are necessary to locate these molecules. James Webb Telescope finds distant galaxies that shouldn't exist. The James Webb Space Telescope has by now been in space for over a year in its current mission. It has provided immense important information thus far, and now the telescope has discovered galaxies that simply should not exist. That is because these galaxies are too big, the stars within them too old, and these two details have shaken all previous notions of how the universe looked and operated in its earliest existence. What's more, these findings do not match earlier observations made by the telescope's predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Two key elements of what the universe looked like in its youth have been compromised. First, the prior conclusion that the galaxies then were small and young, and second, that as a result of their size and age, their stars would burn blue. Now this seems to not be the case. When researchers received images from the James Webb Space Telescope, the last thing they expected to see were the big red galaxies with masses equaling that of the Milky Way. This is astounding because due to the way time and space works in the universe, these images of the galaxies should theoretically be far, far younger than ours. It's necessary to get further confirmation of what has been detected by the telescope and what the images are showing us. Just because it seems that these large red spots are older, larger galaxies doesn't necessarily mean they are. The truth of the matter is that because there are so many factors at play, particularly when acquiring data from so far away, both in distance and time, there are a lot of variables, such as the possibility that certain stars in the early universe might simply emit light in a way that is different to what we originally thought. What might seem like a galaxy could be a star shining in an unusual, never-before-seen manner. This is the complicated yet exciting thing about space, and we are constantly learning and evolving. Astronomers see moons forming in disks around distant exoplanet. One question that has played on the minds of astronomers for decades with no real answer is how planets and their moons are formed. But thanks to new research, we could be one step closer to answering that very question. Within our solar system, we can see a broad range of moons, from the icy moons like Jupiter's Io to the volcanic surfaces seen on Neptune's Tristan. Whilst we have recorded and observed plenty of moons that orbit the planets in our solar system, 219 to be precise, we are yet to observe any moons beyond Pluto. Planets outside of our solar system are known as exoplanets and moons by definition orbit a planet. Therefore, it is safe to assume that there are a fair number of moons orbiting these exoplanets too. Despite having found more than 4,000 exoplanets, scientists are yet to definitively see an exomoon. There are six potential candidates under surveillance that could be orbiting exoplanets, but we are awaiting confirmation. A particular duo of exoplanets, not unlike Jupiter, have been observed for years. They sit nearly 400 light-years away from Earth and may have recently given us the next step in detecting an exomoon and seeing how moons are formed. Astronomers have observed what is being described as a disk of debris orbiting one of these exoplanets. This is a circle of rocks and gas that is slowly and gradually forming together from its own gravity. Could we have observed a moon in the process of its creation? Many astronomical discoveries are made by noticing a small flicker or slight variation in datasets that tell us to probe further. This phenomenon, however, was captured clear as day in a photograph. This photograph has sparked plenty of excitement and discussion among scientists. An astronomer working at Stanford University, Bruce McIntosh, although not involved with the research, commented, I don't have coherent scientific thoughts. I just look at the image and say, wow, every time I see it. The discovery was first reported in the Astrophysical Journal Letters on July the 22nd and has reignited discussions into how moons are formed. Theories have spread within scientific communities, suggesting that high-force impacts may aid the formation, or magnetic whirlpools that disrupt the gravitational pull could be behind the creation of moons. Miriam Benesty, the lead author of the study and astronomer from the University of Grenoble, says, We have all these theories that are beautiful, but if you cannot test them, 
they could be completely wrong. This concept of a theory lacking falsifiability or being unable to be proved presents an issue to numerous branches of science, most famously psychology and astronomy, where things can be a little harder to experiment. However, the star system in which this disk of debris has been spotted could present a good opportunity to criticize, rule out and find support for all of these theories. This system is very young in comparison to our own solar system, with the exoplanets PDS-70b and PDS-70c still having their own disk of gas and dust encircling them, indicating they were only recently formed. It was in 2019, a month after the discovery of PDS-70c, that the dust suggesting an exomoon could be forming was spotted via Chile's Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or ALMA. Despite having been the first sign of activity, the signal was incredibly faint, though follow-up observations by Dr. Benesti's team revealed the disk of debris that could be the start of an exomoon forming. It is hoped that within a short amount of time, these methods and patterns of discoveries can become routine and run-of-the-mill. There are a number of telescopes and space observatories with high-tech equipment and that are very powerful that will be open and available for use over the next few years. Hopefully, we will be able to report exomoons themselves being caught on camera, full-formed and entirely confirmed. The discovery of moons in the making is arguably more exciting than stumbling across fully formed moons. Hopefully, soon enough, we will be able to observe the final product of the exomoons. Astronauts could get oxygen from moon rocks. Space exploration has surprised us with the level of rewards we continue to receive. According to a team of scientists at China's Nanjing University, compounds found in lunar soil may have the capability to produce oxygen and fuel to support moon missions. The team studied moon samples from China's Chang'e 5 spacecraft and discovered iron-rich and titanium-rich compounds that might be able to act as a catalyst in a process called the extraterrestrial photosynthesis strategy. This strategy uses lunar soil to transform water from the moon into hydrogen and oxygen. When astronauts exhale in space, they are producing carbon dioxide that could be used with the hydrogen from water electrolysis to produce hydrocarbons such as methane. The methane could be used as fuel for continued space travel. The paper that produced these findings is part of research scientists have been doing into how resources found on the moon can be used to further space exploration. Space travel is a costly endeavor, and the team is trying to find cost-reducing local resources to make space exploration more possible. Multiple space organizations across several countries are getting in on the action. Along with China's plans to test technology that uses local resources, NASA is also planning to create a long-term plan for a sustainable presence on the moon with the Artemis program. The Artemis program aims to put people back on the moon by the mid-2020s and set up a research station in the south pole of the moon by the late 2020s. Chang'e has been a massive success as it was able to bring back the lunar samples that the team used to make this discovery. Incredibly, it was the first time in almost 50 years that a successful moon sample return occurred, the last time being the Soviet Lunar 24 mission in 1976. Scientists will undoubtedly use this success to discover more secrets of the universe. In the past few years, there have been some incredible space discoveries that have captured our attention. From technological advancements to new planets, the universe continues to surprise us with its endless possibilities. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.